In the latest development of the ongoing Apple vs. Epic Games saga, Apple has terminated Epic's developer account less than a month after approving it. This move comes as Epic Games plan to introduce an Epic Games store on iOS in the EU, leveraging the new EU Digital Markets Act DMA, which is now in effect. Apple's decision to terminate the account was influenced by a post from Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, who criticized Apple's App Store practices. Epic responded by stating that Apple's action undermines their ability to compete and serves as a warning to other developers about the consequences of competing with or criticizing Apple. The European Commission is investigating this move under the DMA, with concerns also raised about Apple's compliance with the Digital Services Act DSA and the Platform to Business Regulation P2B. The focus is on the relationship between the developer program membership and the App Store as a very large online platform VLOP. Apple, on its part, maintains that it is exercising its rights with this decision. Join us in this video as we delve into the latest chapter of the Apple vs. Epic Games conflict, exploring the implications of Apple's decision and the potential impact on the tech and gaming industries. The conflict between Apple and Epic Games has escalated with a new development. Apple's termination of Epic's developer account. This decision, made less than a month after the account's approval, comes as Epic Games plan to launch its own store on iOS in the EU. Under the new EU Digital Markets Act DMA, the termination was influenced by a critical post about Apple's App Store practices by Epic CEO Tim Sweeney. Epic has responded, stating that Apple's action not only undermines their ability to compete, but also serves as a stark warning to other developers about the risks of competing with or criticizing Apple. The European Commission is now investigating this action under the DMA, with additional concerns about Apple's compliance with the Digital Services Act DSA and the Platform to Business Regulation P2B. The focus is on the interplay between developer program membership and the App Store status as a very large online platform VLOP. Apple defends its decision as a rightful exercise of its policies. This extended video delves deeper into the latest chapter of the Apple vs. Epic Games saga, examining the broader implications of Apple's decision and its potential impact on the tech and gaming industries. The saga between Apple and Epic Games continues to unfold with a significant new development. Apple's termination of Epic Games' developer account. This decision, made less than a month after the account was approved, aligns with Epic's intention to launch its game store, iOS in the EU, leveraging the new EU Digital Markets Act DMA. The trigger for this termination was a critical post by Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, targeting Apple's App Store practices. Epic has strongly criticized the decision, arguing that it hinders their ability to compete effectively and serves as an intimidating message to other developers contemplating competition or criticism of Apple. The European Commission is now investigating Apple's actions under the DMA, with additional concerns about Apple's adherence to the Digital Services Act DSA and the Platform to Business Regulation P2B. The focus is on the interplay between the developer program membership and the App Store status as a very large online platform VLOP. Apple defends its decision as a rightful exercise of its policies amidst growing scrutiny. This video offers an extensive analysis of the latest chapter in the Apple vs. Epic Games confrontation, examining the broader implications of Apple's decision and its potential impact on the tech and gaming industries. The ongoing battle between Apple and Epic Games has taken a dramatic turn, with Apple's recent decision to terminate Epic's developer account. This move, occurring less than a month after the account's approval, coincides with Epic's plans to introduce its own game store on iOS in the EU. Under the new EU Digital Markets Act DMA, the catalyst for this termination was a post by Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, criticizing Apple's App Store practices. Epic has condemned the decision, claiming it undermines their competitive ability and serves as a warning to other developers about the consequences of challenging Apple. The European Commission is now scrutinizing Apple's actions under the DMA, with additional concerns regarding compliance with the Digital Services Act DSA and the Platform to Business Regulation P2B. 
the investigation focuses on the relationship between developer program membership and the App Store's role as a very large online platform VLOP. Apple, however, maintains that its decision to terminate Epic's account is a legitimate exercise of its rights. This video provides a comprehensive analysis of the latest developments in the Apple vs. Epic game saga, exploring the implications of Apple's decision and its potential impact on the tech and gaming industries. The saga between Apple and Epic Games intensifies, with Apple's recent decision to terminate Epic Games' developer account, a move that came less than a month after the account's approval. This development is a significant turn in the ongoing conflict, especially as Epic planned to launch its game store, iOS, in the EU. Capitalizing on the new EU Digital Markets Act DMA, Determination was prompted by a post from Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, in which he criticized Apple's App Store practices. Epic's response highlights how Apple's action undermines their competitive ability and serves as a cautionary tale to other developers about the risks of challenging or criticizing Apple. The European Commission is now investigating this action under the DMA, with additional concerns about Apple's compliance. With the Digital Services Act DSA, and the platform to business regulation P2B. The investigation is focused on the relationship between developer program membership and the App Store status as a very large online platform VLOP. Apple maintains that its decision to terminate Epic's account is a legitimate exercise of its rights. This video offers an extended and detailed analysis of the latest chapter in the Apple vs. Epic Games confrontation examining the broader implications of Apple's decision and its potential impact on the tech and gaming industries. The ongoing battle between Apple and Epic Games escalates with a new twist. Apple's recent termination of Epic Games developer account. This significant move, occurring less than a month after the account's approval, coincides with Epic's plans to launch its game store, iOS, in the EU, under the new EU Digital Markets Act DMA. The catalyst for this termination was a post by Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, criticizing Apple's App Store practices. Epic has responded, stating that Apple's action not only undermines their competitive ability, but also serves as a stark warning to other developers about the risks of competing with or criticizing Apple. The European Commission is now scrutinizing Apple's actions under the DMA, with additional concerns regarding compliance with the Digital Services Act DSA and the platform to business regulation P2B. The investigation focuses on the relationship between developer program membership and the App Store's role as a very large online platform VLOP. Apple defends its decision as a rightful exercise of its policies. This video provides a deeper analysis of the latest developments in the Apple vs. Attic game saga exploring the implications of Apple's decision and its potential impact on the tech and gaming industries.